you're on. This is Max of the Bridgeport Marine. I'm uh, going to give you a walkthrough of the Ultima 172. Uh, right up here at the front of the bow, we've got your horn. And this is where your nav light is going to go. Your nav light will be located in this front compartment right here. It'll be just right up there at the front. All you have to do is plug it in and hit the switch back on the dash. Next thing we'll go over is a Minn Kota power drive. We're going to hit this lever to release it. Drop it down. Locks it. To bring it back up, hit this lever right on the back here. Bring it back. Locks in. Right up here, you've got your tilt and trim switch for the outboard on the back. Up and down, you've got your plug-in and your control pad will be sitting right here. Under the starboard compartment, you've got your storage space. More than likely your charger as well, already hooked up and ready to go. And this back over there. Under your port side compartment, you've got your front live well hooked up and ready to go. For your front pedestal seat and deck, this just folds out just like that. And then the post that is included in your boat will go right in this hole and it'll stick out about this far. So you can put your extra seat up there. This is also storage right in here. Get your full windshield right here. Now right back here, let's go over the dash a little bit. You got your miles per hour, your volts, and your fuel. You've got your RPM. You've got a compass right up here. It's your Hummingbird Helix 5. If you do not know how to use this or are not familiar with this, go ahead. There's lots of very great uh, YouTube tutorials out there. This is your ram out. Release this lever right on the left here, and then you're able to move this however you would like. And take, and take it out. And take it out. You release this a little bit more. This entire thing will come out and then you can just disconnect the cables. Right up here on the dash, you've got your key for your ignition, horn, master power, which is gonna be for your radio right here on the side. It is a Jensen Bluetooth radio, which you can hook up to your phone. You got your nav light and your anchor light back here. You've got your bilge, your live well main one, the live well main two, and your storage lights, and your boat is equipped. You've got your 12 volt outlet right here, and these are circuit breakers. Right here, you've got your throttle control with your up and down trim, forward, reverse, so forth, on your steering wheel. Put this little tab down here and that will adjust it. Right down here, you've also got your safety switch that you can connect to yourself in case you fall out of the boat, it'll kill your engine instantly. Right down here, got some storage with battery trays. And that is the same as on the other side. On your main seat here, you do have a slider. It's the front lever right up here at the very front left. Pull it up and you can slide back and forth. And then you've got a secondary lever right over on the right side where you can turn it around. This one just has the swivel seat. Right underneath here, you've got rod locker. You will more than likely have your cover on your boat. So your posts and everything else will be in here. You got a drain down there in the center. You've got your two posts. 
for your seats right here that you can put in. Rear flip up seats are on the back. I will demonstrate how to put them down. All you have to do is hold down the seat and just drop that. Same thing with this one. On the sides here, you have locker space, storage. And on this side, you will see your anchored light pole, which is right here. And you will see a couple more rod holders, rod lockers. Right back here is where your anchor pole will plug in. Just screws in right in there. And right down here is your rear eye well, which will have your helix box and any other material you may need. This is your ski pole. This can come out of here. Once to the left, once to the right, and then it comes out just like that. As you can see on the rear here, it is flat on one side to lock in. Right back here is your fuel. That is your fuel fill up. And then we will move. You can cut the video. It's okay. Maybe. Okay. We'll move to the back and I will show you. Right on this side is where you have your oil dipstick. 